It's ludicrous. You reached out to me like a ghost. Oh, is this something on your conscience? Isn't there something on yours? Old Nintendo Gamer. And son. Hello and welcome back to the death of my husband. That's right, as we begin again in Overboard with me, Old Nintendo Gamer. This is our third attempt. Uh, what's inside? Cor says, come, I have to... If I could have got it back first. Got what back first? What's inside? Uh, can I frame Clarissa? Can I earn out Malcolm's life insurance policy? That's what, That's the big thing, is life insurance policy. What's inside Carstairs' cabin? Now, I'm going to really try and frame Clarissa here. <coughs> Morning, Mrs. Valencia. Who's, who's there? Steward, ma'am. Uh, what do you want? Captain says we put into Liberty Island at 4 p.m. And breakfast is still being served. <coughs> thank, thank you, steward. Huh? Mr. Valencia? Are you quite all right, Mr. Valencia? Uh, I'm very ill, huh? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'll bring you some tea from the kitchen as soon as I can. Oh dear. All right, Veronica. I mean, you're incredible. That was a fabulous performance. Now, don't mess it up. I am gonna look around the cabin because I need my earring. I'm gonna try and do that framing thing and see what can happen, see if I can get away. Look away quickly. There's a bottle of tablets in the sink. Um, I'm gonna fix my face. One of my earrings is missing. Uh, one, one of my diamond earrings. That's right. Shit, 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 shit. Uh, pocket the other one. All right. I slip the free earring free in my pocket. Uh, the tablets. I might need the tablets. You never know. Strong ones. Uh, Veronica's little helpers. I wonder if they woke up at all. Pocket them. That's another minute. Everything is adding up into minutes. I hurry back out and I'll leave. I don't want anything from the desk just yet. And let's continue on into the smoking room. This Oh, someone just arrived. The smoking room's a stuffy place. Mark the jacket is hung over back one of the chairs. I must have forgotten this here last night. Look in the pockets. What have you got in there? Wallet, cabin key. Well, I'm going to have no incriminating notes, but I want uh, the key because I know the key is. I take the key from Malcolm's pocket, and I hurry away. I've got what I wanted. Oh, it was me, right? Let's continue. Um, I have got time now to get into the restaurant. Uh, the restaurant is emptied out. Uh, forgive me, ma'am. Your husband is unwell then this morning. His voice sounded most hoarse. I'm going to make your husband a cup of tea. I'll take it to him myself. Please, ma'am, it's no trouble. The cheese scones are hardly fresh, but they're hot and buttered. Nibble some biscuits. I shouldn't have uh, pretended he was... Um, uh, move on. The biscuits were all weirdly oily. I didn't even eat the biscuits. Hopefully. Right then, um... At least my cabin is now truly mine. Wait there. I found my chaise exhausted. I'm gonna leave. There's still time. I don't know what time that um, butler's coming. I want to go to the aft cabins here. Six hours after the murder. Uh, the aft cabins belong. The sobbing coming from nearby cabin. Yes, we all know this. Clarissa. That's right, Clarissa's crying. Let's go to Clarissa's door and knock on it. Clarissa, you in there? Oh, go away. You're going to want to talk to me? Are you threatening me? You witch. <laughs> you witch. I never want to see you again. I think she's American. I, I know what you did to him. I know. Are you talking about Malcolm? You never loved him. Not like I did. 
He was my husband, not yours. Was? So you do know. Oh dear. I don't know what you mean. You're lying, you're lying. Oh dear. What did you see, Clarissa? Please tell me. Go away. Do you know where he is? He's dead. Don't pretend you didn't know. Go away. Leave me alone, you monster, you harpy. She collapses in the floods deal again, enough to spoil her bed sheets. I suppose it doesn't matter if Clarissa knows. How can she know? How much did she see? I know. Uh, knock on Clarissa's door again. Yeah, Clarissa. Go away. Uh, meet me on the upper deck. Why? It's important. Trust me. I hate you. Duck out of sight. That's right. We're gonna get back into a room and plant that uh, diamond. And Clarissa steps out. Okay. Hurries up the passageway. She's gone. Um, take the key from Malcolm. I wonder, did that hussy give you a key, dearest? Why, she did. Terrible. I slip inside and close the door behind me. I gotta drop an earring, that's for sure. I drop my earring in the middle of the floor. Marvellous. Uh, I go to the desk. I need some incriminating evidence here. Her desk is scattered with handwritten sheets. Read one. She does, so she does write. Clarissa's poetry. Awful poetry for my husband. Oh, dear Lord, poetry. She's right, Malcolm with Falcon. He hardly flew, dear. He more sort of fell. Take one. This one. Uh, will you take my life? Will you take my heart? Will you take each piece of me, piece by piece apart? And the inks run from a teardrop. Um, let's have a look at the nightstand. Uh, her nightstand is a glass of water, a book, and an eye mask. Now, if I put sleeping pills on the nightstand... Let's tear my name off the label and leave these here. Right, let's see... Uh, the book. What are you reading, Clarissa? Oh. Clarissa's been reading one of Malcolm's small-minded little books. The Greater Britain by Oswald Mosley. One of Malcolm's little nasty books. Small things, small faults for small minds. Leave it here. I'm quite happy not to see this miserable volume again. Uh, why would I need that? I'm going to need to leave the room there. Locked. Did I get away for it? Uh, leave. Right. So the evidence is incriminating there. Lady H and Clarissa are up there. Clarissa is still up there, right? I make my way to the upper deck. And there she is. Well, he wanted to talk to me. Oh, with it. Carissa, you saw something. What is it you saw? I saw him fall, Veronica. Last night. It was horrible. Yeah, I was in my bunk just writing something. And I looked up and, and he shot past the porthole in front of me. I don't know what you're talking about. He wouldn't have done it except for you. Right, I'm slightly make, trying to make her think that I, at least I didn't do it. He didn't love him. Why did you let him do it? You know nothing about him. I knew his soul. He was so beautiful. Is that your portal down there? Was he... Was this where we were standing. Maybe I'm not sure. She leans out to see. I check quickly. We're all alone up here. But I do not want... You can join him, Clarissa. No. Is it your cabin? Maybe I'm not sure. I think it is. You did see him, Clarissa. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, Malcolm, why did you do it? We could have run away together. I would have lived in sin for him. Goodbye, Clarissa. Goodbye. And with that, Clarissa runs away, sobbing out her little heart. Ah, Mrs. Valencia. It's Mr. Carstairs, the young Englishman. Damn fine day, what? 
Uh, good morning, Mr. Carstairs. Are you up here looking for your diamond by any chance? I found it lying here on the deck like a ballyfish. Lucky thing I did too. Might have flopped back into the sea. Showed it to the Major and he jolly well diagnosed it. Diamond, highest caliber. Look. I'm afraid I only found the one though. That's not my earring. Really? I mean, it looks like your earring. I was admiring them only last night, do you remember? May I see? Of course. You know, it is mine. I hadn't realized it was missing. You should be more careful, old fruit. Damn. But I didn't drop it here. I haven't been up on deck at all. Really? How curious. Then I wonder how the dickens it got there. Ooh. A thief? Perhaps there's a thief aboard. Better take twice as much care of those diamonds then. Shall we take a turn around the deck? Yeah, why not? Uh, let's. Uh, will there be another war, Mr. Carstairs? Has to be. Uh, that man in Germany can't be allowed to carry on. It just can't be allowed. I just don't know how long we have to wait before we do something. My uh, husband rather likes that man. Oh, then it's your husband is a fool. And I'm afraid he'll either learn that quickly or slowly. But he'll find out either way. Where's your husband this morning, Mrs. Valencia? I haven't seen him. Well, that's a dashed nuisance. I deposit Mr. Carstairs at the top of the stairs a short while later. Good day to you, Mrs. Valencia. You'll wonder how the urine got here. You'll wonder how the urine got here. He's gonna ask around. Right then, as I leave the rail, I look up to see the bridge officer on duty looking back to me. Hmm. Now, where do I want to go next then? Let's go to the forward cabins then. Um, the forward cabins belong to Lady H and Mr. Carstairs. Um, is there any way I can get into Mr. Carstairs? The four comes with Carstairs on one side and Lady H on the other side. Hello? No answer. Nothing. Hmm. Lady Honoria Armstrong has a cabin more or less to herself on a separate corridor of the ship, presumably so no one sees her rolling back drunk to her room. Hello? No answer. Right, I need to get rid of some stuff. Can I throw? I don't particularly know what I'm doing now, but I think I've set up something. Anyway, Lady H is sitting by herself. Uh, the cheese scones are hardly fresh, but they're hot and buttered. Have a plate of pineapple rings. I skewered a pineapple ring with a fork. Oh, do excuse me, my dear. Toodles. Lady H gets up and leaves the room. Peanuts chewy. I push them away. Uh, Singh and Carstairs are here. Let's see if I can push things along by talking to these two then. Seated in a heavy chair is a man with enormous moustaches and Carstairs there too quietly smoking. Oh, good day to you, Mrs. Valencia. He salutes. Been stuck aboard this tug for a week, but I do believe we've had the pleasure. The name's Subtar Major Sabich Singh of the 14th Sikhs, retired obviously, at your service. And Veronica Valencia. Oh, I know who you are. 
Chaps talk about their wives. Not very complimentary, I'm afraid. Well, that's rather true, I'm afraid. Uh, then you have me at a disadvantage. Mm. Ah, but uh, perhaps that way you can lure me into over self confidence. Have you uh, seen Malcolm? Not today, I think. He's gone missing. Malcolm. Missing? On a boat? That's a strange thing. Uh, Malcolm plays cards with you, Major. Uh, Subtitle, Major, please. Uh, yes, that's right. And with Mr. Carstairs here. But between you and me, Mem Sahib, he's not really good at it. Uh, you must find him a new hobby. I'll uh, bear that in mind. Why am I going American? I'll bear that in mind. The Major harumphs under his moustache. Uh, very good, then. Uh, yes, ma'am. I'll be going now. Mim Sahib. Am I... Am I... The bridge officer might have seen me on the upper deck last night. To reach the bridge, you climb a metal ladder from the upper deck. It's a terrible idea. The masterful Commander Anders is at the wheel. On a hook inside the bridge is a key with a bright red fob. Jump overboard? Commander! Mrs. Valencia, come in. The bridge isn't empty. There are a few duty officers about. And how are you faring this afternoon, Mrs. Valencia? Anxious to arrive. Can't you make this boat go faster? Not really, no. But we'll be soon there, there soon enough, don't you worry. Have you been up here before? Uh, never, I think. Um, the view is quite impressive. Yes, indeed. Uh, the upper deck seems a long way down, doesn't it? Now, one there now, of course. Did you know I was on watch here last night? Ah, what did you see? Oh, it was a quiet night. Light breeze, no fog. Relatively good visibility. Mr. Anders, my friend. I feel I've known you a long time. We're old souls, Mrs. Valencia. That must be it. Yeah, must be. Now, Mrs. Valencia, I should perhaps return to my duties. Uh, thank you for showing me the bridge, Mr. Anders. I need that key. Perhaps you can show me more later. I would like that very much. Good day, Mrs. Valencia. Oh, you can see the rail clearly. But there's uh, no one down there. Anders opens the door of the bridge and steps out. I just got a call on the speaking tube. We need it in the restaurant now. Uh, walk me there? Uh, you go first, I'll be right behind. Oh. In the restaurant, Lady H, Carstairs, and the Major soon gathered, Clarissa Turpentine standing apart, still sniffling. Anders walks me in and steps to one side. Oh, thank you all for coming. I apologize for gathering you all here. It's most unusual. But I believe something unusual has indeed occurred. Mrs. Valencia, there is still no sign of your husband. Uh, tell them, Veronica. Uh, he's missing since last night. It is true, I think. The maid told me the bed. It had not been slept in. Mrs. Valencia lied to me this morning. Uh, she claimed her husband was bedridden with an illness. She even spoke in his voice through the door. I didn't say anything be because... because... He's done this before. Before... both before and after our marriage. The point is this. Something has become of Mr. Valencia. So what has happened? I'll tell you what happened. I saw him fall into the sea. Last night he fell past my window as I looked out. Oh, she told me this nonsense already. She says she saw him through a porthole in the dark. It's ludicrous. He reached out to me like a ghost. 
Oh, is this something on your conscience? Isn't there something on yours? Ugh, you know. Of course one doesn't like to gossip, Ugh, but uh, Malcolm Valencia was on the upper deck last night. And he wasn't alone. Clarissa was with him, was she? It must have been Clarissa. Taking a moonlit stroll with my husband. I'm sorry, Mr. Valencia, but I found your earring there just this morning. You said it wasn't yours, but I'm quite sure it was. You lied about it, in fact. Wait, there's more. As I went below, there was a splash. What kind of splash? A heavy splash. I thought it was something falling off the boat until... until all of this. Mrs. Valencia, you lied about not visiting the upper deck. You lied about your husband's whereabouts this morning. Can you explain yourself? Yes, I can. I'm innocent. I didn't do anything. So, what happened? Clarissa killed him. She loved him and she couldn't have him. You dog, you beastly dog. She was inside my cabin. I found one of her horrible earrings in there, oh dear. She lured me to the upper deck and dropped it. She's trying to frame me, I'm sure of it. Enough, ladies. Uh, don't fight. No one thinks you did anything to hurt Mr. V Mr. Valencia, Miss Turpentine. Oh, thank you, Commander. I must advise the Captain that Malcolm Valencia committed suicide last night. Wait a minute. Uh, aren't you forgetting something? Uh, I don't think so, no. Not you, Major. Hmm, him. Me? Lady Armstrong? That's right, Commander. You were up on a bridge last night with your binoculars. You must have seen exactly what happened. Commander? Well, Subaday Major, I've been intending to discuss the matter discreetly with the Captain himself. But since you forced me into speaking publicly... It was dark on deck, surely. Can't have seen anything. Uh, the moon was quite bright, ma'am. Uh, quite bright enough to see the upper deck. I saw Mrs. Valencia on deck last night, and I saw something fall off the ship. I knew it. I have a nose for these things. You didn't. Mrs. Valencia, the coincidence is there. Too much. I have no choice but to treat this as murder. Mrs. Valencia, please come with me. The commander drags me by the arm out of the restaurant. Please, please, please. Don't beg, Veronica. Just come with me. You better stay in the in your cabin until we dock. Oh dear. July fifth, Sing Sing Correctional Facility once again. Another failed attempt. This is Valencia. No liberty for this lady. Socialite Veronica Valencia was dramatically arrested for the murder of her husband at the SS Hook put into harbour in Brooklyn. Mrs. Valencia was the guest of the Sing Sing Correctional Facility in somewhat less comfortable than the widow of a British aristocrat might be accustomed to. And in pictured is the $10,000 diamond earring placed Mrs. Valencia at the scene. Damn. <laughs> that was my third attempt, even though it says five attempts there. I was messing around one time. Um, then, even though I f put... I have no idea. Maybe I need to make that lady sleep as well. There's a, there's a lot more going on that I need to be doing. I think I need to get into car stairs is... Um, place as well but how you do that is another thing the secret knock he's got to be in there and I got to do the secret knock and maybe or someone else is in there and I do the secret knock and I can use him as a tool to uh, not say he found the diamond ring well we'll be trying that or at least something along those lines in the next episode of overboard this has been attempt three see you back in attempt four Bye-bye. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and give us a like if you've enjoyed our content. You can follow us on X, Facebook, 
Instagram, and threads. We also have a private Discord server for some laid-back gaming chat, and if you're feeling generous, you can support us via coffee. All the relevant links are in the description below.